This is College Football Picks with Brad Powers. And you know this is a college football uh, show, and we've got to have plays on the biggest games of the year. This is arguably one of the biggest games of the year as number one Tennessee heads to Athens to take on number three and defending national champion Georgia. Um, this game is basically for a spot in the SEC title game. Which way are you leaning here in this one, Brad? I'm going to go with Georgia here, minus the eight. Now, I, I'll say this. Let Vegas tell you who number one is. The fact that Georgia is more than a touchdown favorite. I know they're at home, but the, an eight-point spread over the number one team in the country tells you that Georgia is either one or two in a Vegas power rating along with Ohio State. Let, let's talk line and do some comparison here. Obviously, you got to respect what Tennessee's done so far this season, particularly the win over Alabama. Speaking of that Alabama game, Tennessee was a nine-point home underdog in that game. I get it. They won outright. You got to upgrade ten Tennessee, but we're in no, no, November. I'm not upgrading teams four or five points off of singular performances. And keep in mind, Alabama was up seven late in that game. Interception gets called back. And, and what do you know? Tennessee ends up winning it. Well, I, I think Georgia's a little bit better than Alabama, and they're at home and they're laying a little bit less of a point spread. So clearly there's been a significant upgrade on Tennessee. I think a little bit too much. So that's why I'm leaning Georgia. But here's why it's not like best bet material. I'm going to palm my fist and say run to the window to bet Georgia <laughs> right now. Is Here it is in November, and I'm not really sure how good Georgia is, particularly on defense. I know they have taken a step back. I just don't know how big of a step back it is on defense. Obviously, the most proven commodity on the football field is the Tennessee offense in this game. Uh, the, the question that I have is just, you know, can Georgia get a couple of stops against this Tennessee offense? That's to be determined. But when it comes to point spread value, I think a popular public underdog is driving this number to where it is and not being nine, nine and a half, maybe even ten. Yeah, you just said it right there. This is going to be a very popular public dog this week, but haven't seen a whole lot of, of movement so far. We have 75% of covers users on Tennessee, but that, that number hasn't moved a whole lot. On top of that, I think Georgia, they just need this game more than Tennessee does. I think Tennessee can get away with a loss in this game, and then they can proclaim they have a win over Alabama. If Alabama wins the SEC title game, then they have a, uh, a win over the SEC champion. Whereas Georgia, if they don't get into this uh, this uh, SEC title game, I think their chances of repeating uh, are cut drastically there as well. So I like this uh lean as well i'd lean towards georgia as well i think jalen carter can make some issues for hendon hooker in this game so uh i'm, I'm in green with you here brad at georgia minus eight